addition to the NCAA tournament. I'm now going to go through my Final Four teams and state why they're my Final Four teams. Here's more reasons for you to visit my website. Alabama was my number one seed that I have making it to the Final Four, mainly because of Brandon Miller. He is the best player in the NCAA, and it always helps to be have the best player. And I think Nate Oates has also been one of the top coaches of the year. May have won may have won the SEC Coach of the Year if they didn't have the controversy they had. Houston thinks. Houston, as I think more about it, I am more concerned. Marcus Sears is hurt, and maybe the injury concerns him and does not lead him to a Final Four, which would be, begin Texas for me to watch out for them as they are a very good team, and they have plenty of size to beef it up in the basketball and get the rebounds. UCLA has a good record and can hit threes. They're also one of my teams that can make the Final Four. Marquette is my fourth final team to make the Final Four. Shaka Smart handles the pressure and like a place like Marquette, like he did it. But it was time to leave VCU. Marquette is a better program than VCU. And we'll see what happens from there. Kansas would be my fifth team, or sixth team to most likely make the Final Four. Um, and we'll stop right there. The reason I don't think Kansas will make the Final Four, they're just not, they're just, they overachieved. But what makes Bill Self such a great coach is he makes them overachieve. They do have one of the best players in the NCAA, uh, Jalen Wilson, who I don't know, know if has them, enough talent to make a great player in the NBA, but he would make a solid player in the NBA. Kansas State a three seed. I think they should be a four seed. They didn't put up the conference championship, although nobody seems to care about the conference championship anymore. As I had a Kansas fan challenge me to think, is the conference championship that important? Well, then why not you guys, KU fans, just not playing the conference championship? Would that be okay? That's Sam Vaughn Smack. Take two teams out. If the conference championship doesn't matter as much, just take two teams out. Just take them out. They don't have to play. Kentucky got the overseeding because they are the sixth seed, and I think branding is here. And I mean, because their name is Kentucky, they get the name. And we're talking about two months ago, K Kentucky fans want to fire John Calipari. Also, overseeded Baylor because I think the 11 die by threes. So much so that I think if they hit the threes, they could win anywhere from on the tournament, which leads me to Missouri and other teams. UConn, Arkansas, UConn. Duke, they can hit their shots. They can win anything. Um, mostly Duke and UConn and Gonzaga I'm talking about. And Arkansas, I think, is can hit their shots and have the most talent between maybe all those teams. But Arkansas hasn't put it together. And I, I just think that with the three-pointers, you can win pretty much any game you want to win. That's my point of UConn. Gonzaga, yeah, UConn, uh, Arkansas, and Gonzaga. Missouri might be more of a fandom thing, so that's that. Uh, Gonzaga, as I said, it can make it to the Final Four. Plus, Mark Few has to eventually make it to the Final Four. UConn can make any threes, like the teams I mentioned, Missouri, Baylor, or Iowa State, can catch lightning in a fire, or they can catch them in a freezer, and they can lose any game. Duke already showed this year that they're a better team than the rigging they gave them. Duke could be a five seed or a three seed, anywhere in between. In the first game of the tournament, Southeast Missouri, one of the local schools, maybe for some people around here, they went to they were an hour from Carbondale, lose one lose a close one, 75-71. The um, Pittsburgh Mississippi State game is in the first half. Just early, Pittsburgh lead or Mississippi State leads, and that one 14 to 8. This is Sam Vaughn for Sam Sports Report. Good afternoon. This is Sam Vaughn for Sam Sports Report. 
Now we'll go through the NFL news after we finished. Now we'll go through the NFL news. On the free agency side, in the trade side, the Arizona Cardinals sign linebacker Kirza White to a deal. He returns with Jonathan Gannon. The Arizona Cardinals hung on to a few of their signings. Kevin McHale and Matt Prater, kicker. The Cowboys have gave one time very good Patriot player Stephen Gilmore for the Col- to the Colts. Stephen Gilmore from the Colts to the Cowboys, the one time very good Patriot. The Cowboys give up a number 176 pick for a fifth round and a compensatory pick as they earned in exchange for Gilmore, who is entering his final year of his contract, a base salary of $7.9 million. Cornerback James Bradley, who had the hold of the Super Bowl that made the Chiefs be able to run out the clock, signed a deal with the Eagles again. Three-year Raiders trade Darren Wall to the Giants for a three-year $38 million guaranteed when the Deal was made after the deal was made. Las Vegas gets a third round draft pick in 2023. That seems low for Darren Waller, one of the best tight ends of football, top five. Jacoby Meyer to the Raiders, former receiver of the Pats, and now they have a new man for the one who they signed yesterday, Jimmy Garoppolo, former 49er. Former Bengal and Panther quarterback Andy Dalton signs. Is he, is he a starter? That will be a question for the Panthers as they moved into the draft as a number one spot. Or do they cheat, keep him for the, right, for the few games and then start their new quarterback, which will be the first-round pick again? Chiefs to tender, backup tight end, Jody Forsen. This is Sam Vaughn for Sam Sports Report.